Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and it's been a little while since we covered the major app updates, and this is the first major app update video of the year for the week of January 9th, 2023. And so the first thing has to do with Twitter. Twitter right now, if you're using third-party Twitter apps, they're not working now as Twitter seems to have disabled the API that allows those apps to view and send messages on Twitter. So if you're having that issue, you're not alone. There hasn't been any confirmation, at least at the time of this video, whether or not they plan to fix it. Also, they recently forced a sort of algorithmic for you timeline, which is really not that great. So I prefer to see the one I want to see, and it changed recently with this latest update. So that's something that I'm not really a fan of, but maybe they'll change that in the future. Now you may have already noticed there's sort of an odd dynamic island here on this iPhone 11 Pro Max. And that's because there's a new app you can use without actually jailbreaking your phone to get the dynamic island on phones still running iOS 16.1.2 all the way back to iOS 16. Now this is not a jailbreak like I said, but it does use the alt store with an app called Dynamic Cow that allows you to configure the dynamic island as it was on the iPhone 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max. So you can see it here, although it's sort of blocked by the notch, press and hold, it brings open either the timer or your music. You can cancel that, swipe home, it goes away. It acts just like the dynamic island on any iPhone. So it sort of works well, but it's not something that I would use regularly as it's blocked by the notch. You can see it's reacting to what I'm doing. If I go back into music, wait for it to load here and cancel that hit play and swipe home, it goes up into the dynamic island. So it's kind of neat that it's there, but it's something that I probably wouldn't use regularly. But you can use without jailbreaking, you just have to use a Mac or Windows computer and sort of push this to the alt store. So I thought I'd just share that. Now WhatsApp will now allow you to use a proxy server in order to connect. WhatsApp is something that most people use around the world, although it's not heavily used in the United States. It will now allow you to use a proxy server so you can bypass internet censorship. WhatsApp announced this right after Iran blocked access to WhatsApp and Instagram. They actually said connecting via proxy maintains the high level of privacy and security that WhatsApp provides. Your personal messages will still be end-to-end -end encrypted, ensuring they stay between you and the person you're communicating with and are not visible to anyone in between, not the proxy servers, WhatsApp, or Meta. So that's a nice feature they've added. So if you're using that, you can now use a proxy server with it. Now, over a month or so ago, I shared a new app called Facade. It catalogs all of the different Apple stores and lets you see all the information about it. But now it will allow you to actually add it as a visited list that syncs across iCloud. So if I find my local store here, one of them, Apple South Park in Charlotte, you'll see here that if we tap on the visit button, we can say the date we visited, maybe put in any notes about what we purchased, and then hit save. We'll now have that in our list of visited stores. So that's a really nice way to catalog maybe where you visited if you wanted to do that, or just learn more information about it. This is a really great simple app that tells you about all the Apple stores around the world. So pretty much anything here. So if we look for Singapore, I haven't been to that one yet, but you can see it here. Apple Marina Bay Sands, and it gives more information about it. So it's great, tells when it's open and more. So if you've visited any of those, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Instagram is removing its shopping tab as it changes its strategy. So this shopping button will go away and apparently they'll change it to something else. They haven't really gone into detail about that yet, but they are going to be changing it. Now, if you're someone that watches a lot of media on your iPhone or iPad, and maybe you're using HBO Max, HBO is going up in price from $15 a month to $16 a month. It seems more and more companies are doing this, such as Apple TV Plus and others. So as they're raising prices, unfortunately, if you're using those, you'll see some price increases there as well. Also, if you use Xfinity Stream on your phone, maybe you have Xfinity, you're subscri subscribed to Comcast, you can now use AirPlay to send it to your local TV or if you have a compatible TV or an Apple TV or computers that accept it. So that's something they've updated if you use Xfinity Stream. Now, if you try out all of the different beta updates or some of the previews that Apple has, Apple released Safari Technology Preview version 161. And you can see that here if you want to try it out for macOS Ventura or macOS Monterey. It gives more information about it and shows the latest technology. You'll see it's version 161 that released on January 12th. So if that's something that interests you, it's available now with bug fixes and more. Now also we had iOS 16.3 beta 2 this week. I'll have a follow-up about that 
probably tomorrow or in a couple days at this point, talking about any remaining bugs, how it is compared to iOS 16.2, and when to expect the final releases and more. So be sure to check that out. Like I said, that video will probably be tomorrow at this point. Now, Apple has updated a couple different apps. Fitness Plus is one of them. They updated this this past week with some new updates with Artist Spotlights with Beyonce. They have some new Time to Walk. They have a new kickboxing section and new sleep meditations as well. So all of those things have been added. You'll see Time to Walk and sleep meditations here also. So if you wanna use any of those, those are now available if you subscribe to Fitness Plus. Apple Books gets an update this week with AI digital narration. And if we go into Safari, Apple talks more about this and you can hear what it actually sounds like. So you'll see they have some book options here with different sounds as far as what it sounds like. And it sounds surprisingly real. So if I press play. Movement in the greenhouse drew his eye. And a I looked emerged. up to find a wall of trees had materialized ahead of us. So there's enunciations and it's not just a digital voice. You'd think it's a real person. So those should be available. They're available if you publish books. You can just check an option to have that available. And so you'll see that more and more in the Books app very, very soon if you're not seeing it already. Also this week, if we go over to their website, you'll see they introduced Apple Business Connect. It's a free tool that allows businesses of all sizes to customize the way their information appears across Apple Maps. Whether you're searching for it on Spotlight Search, using Siri, or just using it within Maps itself. So you can customize how you want your business to look, how it's presented, what information is there, whether it's open or closed, and much more. So it's really nice. They're giving more information about that. I'll link that in the description if you have a business and want to check it out yourself. Now, if you're a creator and you use the Facebook app, the Creator Studio from Facebook, this is changing very soon. This will now be updated to a new meta business suite that they're coming out with. So this app should change, giving more information, but also be called meta business suite so they're just making that full shift over to meta i'm not sure i like that idea it looks fine here but it is available and i have a facebook page if you don't follow me there it's available there also with all of the most recent posts and videos and much more now apple has been promising some new apps for windows and some of them are starting to be previewed so you can see on nine to five mac here's a first look at apple music there's also apple tv and apple devices apps coming to windows 11. however they're showing up in the app store but they don't seem to be downloadable yet so they'll have a very familiar look and will be eventually downloadable where you'll have apple tv your apple music and basically the same thing we have on on a mac and then you'll be able to use it for sync and backup and more like we have on mac for quite some time so if you're already installing these i'd love to hear from you in the comments below if you've tried these out some people have asked me to actually cover these but i haven't been able to install them yet let me know if you are in the comments below now as we're seeing more and more pro apps launch on the ipad with davinci resolve to fully edit video i'm expecting some updates fairly soon hopefully maybe by wwdc where we have updates to not only pages numbers and Keynote, but also Final Cut Pro, maybe Logic Pro that are coming to iPad. I would love to see those updates as we're seeing more and more usable Pro apps launch on iPad, but Apple hasn't launched their own yet. So hopefully we see those soon. And I did wanna share one more thing and that is some new wallpapers by Basic Apple Guy. So of course, I'll link this wallpaper in the description, but Basic Apple Guy also lists different wallpapers every so often, and this is called Saltern Study. And it says, it's a collection of cubist wallpapers paying homage to an incredible Canadian photographer and one of my favorite images Apple used marketing the iPad Pro in 2016. So there's a bunch of those there. I'll link that in the description as well. So if you wanna check those out, they'll be available. Be sure to check back probably in a day or so for that follow-up where we talk about maybe new features, the good and bad about the latest versions of iOS, and much more. If you haven't subscribed already though, please subscribe, and if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.